This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. This week, the art of bad movie making. As long as there have been movies, there have been bad movies. However, only one can boast that it is the Citizen Kane of bad movies, and it's now the subject of the new James Franco-directed vehicle, The Disaster Artist. Funny, smart, and at times surprisingly touching, it tells the tale of Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sitaro, Wiseau's friend and partner in the making of the now-cult classic The Room. Greg, played by Franco's real-life brother Dave, meets Tommy in a Bay Area acting workshop where he is awed by Tommy's cringeworthy performances. Shortly thereafter, though, Dave takes Tommy up on his offer to move with him to L.A. to pursue an acting career. While both have dreams, they are unable to get work because neither of them can actually act. However, Tommy doesn't believe that should be a barrier to directing and starring in a movie. So with sheer ambition and an endless and unexplained supply of money, Tommy sets out to make a film himself, which in his words is inspired by Tennessee Williams. Whatever the inspiration, the result is a film mishap so awful it's hard to confuse with serious filmmaking. Franco is Oscar-worthy here as he manages to take a character that could have been played as one-dimensional and cartoonish and gives him a humility that is apparent even when he's being a jerk. In one hilarious scene, Tommy approaches the real-life Judd Apatow in a restaurant and after being told he'll never make it in a million years, asks without skipping a beat, well, what about after that? It's his unwillingness to take no for an answer and his love of movies that makes Tommy so endearing. He may have proved no good at making classics, but he did inspire one. Don't miss The Disaster Artist. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Kim Lowe. Catch up with us at TakeTwoMovieReview.com and feed us back on our page on YouTube.